Today is Makha Pucha. Makha is the name of the month in Pali. And Pucha means homage. We're paying homage not to the month, we're paying homage to the Buddha and the Sangha for an event that happened in this month of Magha on the full moon day, just like our full moon day today. And so it's good to remember these events because it reminds you that you're part of a larger tradition here. It's not just you sitting here meditating or you following the precepts or whatever. You're part of a tradition of people come, people who worked hard to find this path and worked hard to let other people know about it. And so we've been given a treasure. This has passed, been passed down for many, many generations. In addition to practicing it for our own sake, we also practice it so as to pass it down to the succeeding generations. We don't want to drop the ball, because this is something valuable, the Dharma that the Buddha taught, focusing on training the mind, showing that the sufferings that weigh down the mind are things that come from within, and but they're things that we can also cure from within. We don't have to depend on any outside powers, or we're not totally hopeless. There is hope for us. That's Some people say the Four Noble Truths are pessimistic, but they're hardly that at all. There is a way to the end of suffering. There is the end of suffering. That's about as hopeful as you can get. So we want to keep that way alive, not just by talking about it, but by practicing it. When the Buddha was about to die, he said there are two ways of paying homage to him. One is to pay homage with flowers and incense and candles, which we'll be doing tonight. But the other way, which is much more important, which is really genuine homage, is by practicing the Dharma in line with the Dharma. In other words, for the purpose of gaining a sense of dispassion that leads to release from suffering. Every time you do that, you're paying homage to the Buddha. So we want to make sure that this is a day where our homage is complete, not just the candles and flowers and incense, but also through the practice, seeing where we're still hungering for things that are going to cause suffering, and how we can learn how to develop a sense of disenchantment and dispassion for those things. That's how you pay genuine homage. That's how you keep the Buddha's teachings alive, for your own sake and for the sake of the people around you who will come after. Carry on the tradition that was started so many 2,600 years ago. as the Buddha said, for the well-being and happiness of many, many people. So we can be part of that enterprise.